Here we're given four logarithmic equations that we want to write as exponential equations. And there's a certain technique for doing this. So let's start with a. We have log base 2 of 32 equals 5. So to write this in exponential form, or as an exponential equation, you start with the base. This is log base 2, so this becomes the base in the exponential form. And then you go around the outside like this to the power. So I put a little caret here reminding us that this is to the power. So 2 to the power of 5, and then you come back inside for the equals. Equals 32. There we go. 2 to the power of 5 equals 32. And you follow that same motion for each one of these. And this will be useful also when we go to solve logarithmic equations. Let's try b. We have log base 5 of 1 25th equals negative 2. All right, we start with the base, so we start with 5 around, that's our exponent, so 5 to the power of negative 2, back inside for the equals, equals 120, 1 over 25. Okay, and note that this is a true statement. Indeed, 5 to the negative 2 is 1 over 25, and 2 to the fifth is indeed 32. Let's try C. We have log base 10 of 10 equals 1, that's our logarithmic form. Over to exponential form, we start with the base, 10. Around like this to the power of 1. Back inside for the equals, equals 10. Not so bad. D. D, we have log base e of 1 over e equals 1. And if you haven't seen e before, e is one of those very special numbers in math, kind of like pi. Um, it's, it was discovered much later than pi, but it's we call it a transcendental number. Um, it's about 2.71828, and it goes on and on and on. So you can treat it as about 2.7, but it shows up all the time in nature, economics, physics, even just pure mathematics. Some people call it Euler's number, E-U-L-E-R, pronounced Euler. Um, we'll talk more about E later. In this case, it doesn't matter what e is. It can just be any number. We do the same technique. So we have log base e of 1 over e equals 1. Start with the base, e, around to the power. Oh, this should be negative 1 right here. It doesn't work unless that's negative 1. So around to the power of negative 1. And then back inside for the equals. 1 over e. I knew it had to be negative 1 because this statement is true. e to the negative 1 is 1 over e. If that would have been positive 1 there, it wouldn't have worked out.